Let us pray. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for happy days, the gathering of friends and family, gifts given and received, greetings exchanged, the cards sent, and those friendships that have been renewed. We celebrate this human longing to give to each other and to find joy in life. We thank you and we praise you for special food and drink, for decorations and bright lights, holidays and games and music and laughter. But above all of this and more, we thank you, O oh God, for the far-reaching wonder of Christmas. We thank you for the gift of Jesus as a baby in a stable, a gift of love beyond our imagining. Our hearts open our hearts and minds to the wonder of this love. Love which lies at the very heart of Christmas to call us to you and to walk with us in our journey of faith. In the midst of it all, Lord, you know the concerns of our hearts for those who are going through difficult times. We pray for peace for the embattled peoples of the world in the Holy Land and the surrounding countries and every place where humans struggle to live with the injustice around them. We pray for mercy for your people struck by famine, fire, and disease. And we ask that you strengthen all who offer them hope and refuge. Lord, we remember the brokenness of our earth and pray for <coughs> that you give wisdom <coughs> and courage to those who seek to restore and to care for your world. We pray for your church. We ask for courage and strength for all who seek your will and peace in their lives. Lord, we bring before you individuals who are burdened with life, people who are homeless, living with health issues, and or uh, addictions. And we especially today remember those for whom Christmas is a time of loneliness and isolation. We remember those who are grieving and those who are in hospital. Lord Jesus, may your light shine on them and put peace in their hearts today. Lord, Hear our prayers as on this Christmas day we look to the baby of Bethlehem who depended on others for hospitality, for care, for support, for nurturing. And we ask that you make us into a body of people who are more interdependent, supportive, and welcoming so that we will reflect your light and increase the joy that you bring. O oh God, you have set before us a great hope that your kingdom will come on earth and have taught us to pray for its coming. Make us ready to thank you for the signs of its dawnings and to pray and to work for the perfect day when your will shall be done on earth as it is in heaven. We pray these things in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. <clears throat>